Hello, and welcome to this first speedrun of Zenith. I apologize if the music is just kind of deafening a lot of people, but we'll be going over a little bit of what Zenith actually is, and also the speedrun, which is collect one of every fruit and vegetable of the game. So, I'm just going to make a brand new character. We don't have to do this, I will be showing you what all you have to do later on. However, I will be selecting Blade Master because you get dashes. The subclasses of either DPS, support, or tank do not matter, nor do your appearance. And I'm just going to call this... Zenith itself is a little messed up considering you haven't had the ability to delete your character to be able to redo runs. But I will also go over those rules in more detail. So this is where I'm going to start. takes a little bit to load. As this is going, see this is basically a VR MMO game, and one of the objectives that you can do is collect one of every fruit and vegetable in this game, which I will show you in a bit. However, because that's annoying, that's annoying, well, I'll turn on music a bit, turn down sound a bit. And it will deafen everyone else around me. So I can still talk. Okay. So, this is the world of Zenith. Um, if any of you guys haven't played. There is a small tutorial, which this does not count for the runs. Until we're able to start new characters and delete old characters. Where the speedrun will start which this is the entire map. This is the only fast travel point you're allowed to use. This is Brim's Tavern, but you can't go anywhere else. But if I just select this fast travel, wait just a bit. This is where you will start for the most part. Oh, sorry. I'm not allowed to move. As soon as I move from the spot, which would be the fast travel, then the speed run would be allowed to run. But that is the teleporter that we'll get to later. So, basically how the rules are for starting a new character, but also when you need to redo the run, is you go over, you'll select the fast travel first, that it will start from this point first. I'm currently just sitting down for this, but you can also stand or sit. So you are allowed to move around. Use the joystick on my right controller for the Oculus to move around, or turn around if you want if you're standing up. However, as soon as I move from this spot, the timer will start. First things first though, is since this is a brand new character, I don't have to worry about it. However, because we can't delete characters to start completely over, when you want to redo a run, you must show your stat screen because your stamina will stay at 10 until you turn in Amorites tiers to be able to upgrade it. You can also get stamina on your gear, but I'm just using the start gear as long as the start weapons. This is the only thing I have in my inventory. Nothing on page two, nothing on page three. 
They also do starters with three cookies. I will not be using them for this run. Um, you also not allowed to use the three cookies for this run. Mainly because if you want to start a brand new run, you would have to make the cookies and it'll just take for a lot longer. You are allowed to collect food from chests if you get into it or use the buffs that the food can give you that you can find. Not a whole lot of fruit and vegetables do give stats or protection. For example, cookies, they give those stats, but some fruit and vegetables give stats for like defense and attack. You can eat those as long as you keep one in your inventory to be able to show after the run. So, that's, I'll get to know more in a little bit about the details as we go on. However, I will start the run. And the first thing I do is go down and you grab a mushroom. And then you climb back up. One of the nice things about DM is that you get the dashes. And the first thing I usually collect is the mushroom. We are now going into the city. There are a few rules for people who have been playing Zenith, but people who haven't been playing Zenith, there is one rule that is not allowed. Two rules. You are not allowed to do anything that's game breaking, and you also are not allowed to do anything that can seem controversial like the pot glitch. What you would do is this, you would break the plot, and then you can climb up anywhere that you want in the sky. And that's all. However, what I will be using for a lot of this, which I need to, okay, it's turned on. I will be using sensitive gliding for all of this, which basically allows me, if you do this motion, you can go a little bit faster when it comes to straight ahead. It does take a lot more stamina, and it's a little harder to move around than without it. So this is the first area, this would be Fractured Plains. First two things that you can get here, you can get Basil and you can also get Oranges. You can either find Basil right here, you can get Basil there if you're lucky. It's a little bit of a bit of a, oops, a little bit of an RNG thing. Also, I'm trying not to be seen because I'm level one and these guys really hurt. And I just got some. Which isn't really a good thing. But it's a good thing these guys give up. One of the best things also to do is, so you don't waste a ton of stamina, is climb when you can to get over the small things. That guy will easily two-shot you at this level. But we now have Basil. We can get oranges at any of these trees that give oranges. I'm going. I'm using the EZ website, which has a really nice map that explains where all of the collectible items are that you can get in the game. This is one. Also, first thing is allows you to easily get up those ledges where you can't easily climb up a lot faster. I don't really have a name for it, but basically it allows me to hit dash and jump at the same time, kind of rolling my thumb backwards. That way I'm able to transverse this a lot easier for slopes that I can't climb up as well. This next area is a little bit more tricky, but you can get basil and carrots here only I believe. It's also level 6 areas, so the areas just get a lot more tougher. Might be going a little bit slower compared to the very first run I did of this, but the first run I did of this was mainly a practice run. But this is where, oh, and I got lucky. So this is where I usually collect carrots, and if you are good with luck for the RNG gods, you're able to get carrots here. Carrots are usually player-based spawn, so they're not as easy to get compared to other places. 
and there's multiple ways of getting over to the next area because basically we have to go through the three floors and we also have to go to obsidian fortress before we can get back to fractured planes to be able to go to the next few sections And also the dashes don't take stamina, but the jumps do, which is the only downside. But we need to just make our way over here. I did this a little different on my first run, but our end goal is over there. And as long as you don't get the tension of any enemies, I'm stuck on a tree. Uh, your stamina will increase a lot faster. If you get attention of any enemies, you can't really sprint at all uh, because your stamina will also just go down. But there's not really much of sprinting in this game in general. But yeah, there's a lot to explore here, but since I'm just doing a speed run of one of fruit and vegetable in this game. I'm just going to ignore everything and go to this next area. Also you don't have to worry a whole lot about stamina. You also can go to any area in this area at any level. It just fighting monsters becomes a lot harder. What I always do is since there's always two enemies there, I'll just climb up here use a little bit of my stamina and then oops jump get into this area and I just fly right in between all of this this allows me to just ignore everyone except for a few guys this area also has, has several dragon fruit, which is the next fruit that we need to collect. It's just there's several ways of getting there, and the tree that I'm going after. Oops, a dash. Tree that I'm going after though is a little easier, which I believe. Oops, is that tree? There is one enemy that can see you. It's not the hardest thing in the world to easily avoid them as long as you can get on this tree. This game also provides telegraph if I can actually grab something. However, that's one reason why I don't like getting seen by enemies. Because when you get seen by enemies, what they call the telegraph doesn't exactly work as well. to just remember how to get to, I believe, Sporewood Forest, which is the next area. Also, all this is allowed to be able to just kind of go outside the map. Let me just check my map. Yep, I need to go. There's going to be so many other paths that you can take. All of it's perfectly legal as long as you collect one of every fruit. And I just took a lot longer of a path, which is going to drain my stamina a lot faster. So I can't exactly run up any of this stuff without using my 
little dash jump. I need to go over there. There's a lot of enemies here. I'm definitely taking a path. That I did not normally. <laughs> Are we in spore wood already? Yeah, because this is the samurai forest. It's one of these areas. There's also dragon fruit there. But I need to actually get to where the. Entrances, which is right over there. Oh, sorry. Over there. Actually, got a little bit of a way. That was a little faster. Plan is to go over there to get just zoomed up. Because here, I believe it's just dragon fruit, and I think durian's in the next area. So there's nothing really here that we can grab. We can grab a mushroom if we want to, which we saw on the underside, but it is a lot faster to just grab from the underside first, compared to just grabbing one from here. Because this entire area we're just going to skip. You always try to just preserve your stamina as much as possible for gliding. Fast gliding is harder to do when you jump off of things. Also, those little blue things are just the tears that you can collect that for stamina. You can accidentally collect those if you want to, however, you just can't turn it in to actually get your stamina up. Because it's basically as close as we can get to only having a level 1 character. Now I just have to remember how to get out of this area. Which is... So which is the one thing that I'm still figuring out. We just have to go straight, which is probably over there. Also, the dashes do really help when you run out of stamina as soon as you get to an area. That way you don't have to worry about falling, you can stay up high. And don't have to worry about enemies. But I believe. Yep. Here's the entrance to the next area, which is the Scarlet Forest, I believe. Just looking for a single tree, which is gonna be right over there. It's kind of by a fortress, so makes things a little bit complicated, but everything should be okay. Let's see. Yep, we have quite a bit to go. I believe, anyways. There it is. But there's our tree. Ooh. Best to land on the tree. Again, you can collect more than one if you want, or even by accident. I like to land on. 
I like to land on the tree because we need the highest point possible to just glide probably over there by those mushrooms. Also, I just realized there's an enemy in the water. <laughs> It's not good to be seen by any of these guys, because these are all archers. Again, climbing small things to easily get over them saves a lot of stamina. Mainly because every time you move your hands up and down, every time you move your hands up and down, it takes out stamina. Now we just need to go over there. Because the next area is right over there. Because durians was the only thing that we really needed here. Ooh. Also, if you hear that music, that means someone has saw you. Which becomes a lot more of a time loss. I need to go that way. Yes. There's other ways to get to the fortress loops. And I just messed this up. And I just got some. Let's hope I don't die. Looks like just two swords people saw me, but they're, thank god they're AI stupid. Oh boy. This is the correct way. Oh, I took a different path. Usually like to be up on these rocks. Because it's a lot easier to glide down. And I messed that up. Oh, this is actually probably a better way of time saving. So there's our apple. Then we just need to collect one more item from here. Also, sometimes dashes can get you over that small little edge, but not a whole lot. And this is the last item we need, which is cilantro. Well, now we're getting closer. Now what I do, we can trav fast travel back, all the way back to the underside. Apparently chilling at 17 minutes. Which, not as great. But we're getting there. Oh, I guess, uh, I know some speedruns don't count these loading times, but I will count them for now, because so far it's been pretty consistent for when it, when everything loads. Also, the best way for the dashes is to just get up all those stairs real easily. Do a small dash, and then if you do this speed gliding a lot easier. Just goes a lot faster than the actual walking in this game and also running.
That's our orange. I'll usually just climb up here. Probably could just climb up that normally. I'm taking less stamina. But for the most part, I've mapped out where almost all of the enemies are. Ah, uh, yes. Somehow they do see me from here. Also, there's another tier. So this is going to take even longer for all this to load. But what do you need to do? Just fly all the way over here. And this brings us to the next section of Cena. Which, well, I'll do three. Well, 22 are high. Not a very fun region. But it's one of my favorite regions. Because you just climb up here. Go down here. And. Not oh, sure which tree is faster to go to, but you have papaya that up there, and you have peach that's right there. Two really easy ones to get. And peach you can find, I believe, in an earlier area, but it's a little bit more difficult to get to. Again, this same strategy. Try to avoid as many as possible. This one's a little bit more tricky, and I have to make sure I have stamina core. As soon as I get up here, there's a monster called the Banshee that may or may not see me, and he sees me. But we don't care about him because we're just gonna glide all the way down here. And that's all you need in this area, is the papaya and peach. Because the next fruit that we're going after is the pineapple. Oh, that's, that's right. right. Something you'll find out about this game. There's a lot of objects that have no collision. So sometimes you'll just fall onto the ground. And other times, you'll just fall through the world. So it's a little tricky at times. But in this area, pretty simple. Oh, we're getting us to pineapple. Again, you can get these in any order that you want. This is just the order that I kind of thought would be the fastest. Mainly because I don't quite remember where all the pineapple trees are. Which makes things a little bit more complicated. What's the best way to do here? Yeah, I think pineapples in the next area as well. Like for this type of tree. Never. Wait. Oh, that's pineapple. I was correct. Oh, no, 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 no. 
Bad as papaya. I do not want papaya. We have to climb up here now. And jumping does take quite a bit of stamina, but it does help you get up some areas a lot faster. Ah uh, yes, I remember this now. Should have rewatched my first playthrough of this. Uh, let's see. Is that a pineapple tree? That is a papaya tree. That is a pineapple tree. Heavily guarded. But this is indeed a pineapple tree. There's probably a lot easier ones. But I'm just going to climb up here. Sounds like you can't. Grab them from a distance. Oh, that's a pineapple. Now we just need to head straight. I believe that one down there is probably a pineapple. Oh, should have used my dash. Oh, I'm swimming. Area with the really bad. 2D texture trees. The next area we go. This is Turtle Top. Oh yes, we can just go right through this wall. And we're now in. Tangled Cove. And since I already got the pineapple, I'm going to go to exactly which one I know has a rare mushroom, which is the next thing that we need in this area. Possibly. This is probably where the speed gliding comes in. Because you can go a lot farther than just normal gliding at this level. Especially since I only have 10 stamina. Oh, hang on. Messed up the dash jump. There we go. And there's not a rare mushroom here. That is unfortunate. This was the only area, well, the spot that I knew where to get a rare mushroom. I'm not 100% sure on where the other ones are. I don't believe there's anything up here because I'm pretty sure I use this as a jumping point. Nope, I just used it as a falling point. Yeah, that, that lunch that I first climb up on usually always has a rare mushroom. However, I'm going to have to do some more searching now because Also, really trying not to track any enemies. Oh, come on. Okay. Oh, there we go. That's one. 
Honestly, they're kind of spotted everywhere. There's also a pineapple tree here, which I'm just going to use to climb. Because we need to get up there. See, so that pill is usually the easiest one to get rare mushrooms. They're kind of spread out everywhere. I'm not 100% sure on where everything is. That's about what I found. This does kind of work in our favor though. Because we have to go all the way around. It's really a big mountain. Oh, also, if this is first time watching, the dashes do go either where the joysticks is pointing, but also where your head position is. Just make our way over to the next area. Oh, there's also another pineapple tree. Yeah, pineapple trees you can just kind of get wherever. I kind of just get pineapple tree where I got it. Well, by the water area because it's just on a nice straight path. You don't have to worry. I'll stop here. Hopefully, not get seen. Because we're gonna glide directly over there. I do need to do the long. Yeah, somewhere there's two there. Sometimes you can go on the tree. That works too, depending on which direction you come from. Well, I care for where is the next area, which is Ramshackle. And what's nice is you don't have to worry about any enemies as soon as you get here. And if RNG is on our other side, the next two items that we get here is rosemary and lemon. And the first lemon that you can get is just this tree. Maybe mm, we triggered someone. There was a lemon. But since we triggered him. Go for it, six. That would be your lemon. Again, I'm not 100% sure on the most optimal way. I'm probably already past my first time I uploaded all of this. Ooh, just barely made that. Now, this is where things get a little complicated because we're just going to what I like to call sh 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 yeah. thread the needle. Something is triggered on. Oh, that's not a good thing. They shoot projectiles. Please stop following me. Oh, for God's sakes. Oh, it seemed to have stopped. Now the next thing we need is Rosemary, which is the last herb in this game. And it is... A little tricky. Oh. 
do it? No. I'll have to be careful because I also am not sure exactly what the Nagno spawn, which is the snake monsters. Pretty sure. Somewhere. There's one up there. It's not a good sign. Should have been able to get one before I got to this. The exit, anyways. Again, RNG for a lot of this stuff. Usually you get one right along this pathway. However, don't seem to be a case that it wants to be generous. Oh boy. I had a feeling getting the carrot the first time was a bad item. Oh, this isn't good. good. Also might be because it's just down here. Where is it? Ah, where is me? I just forgot which pathway it is. Should take this way to begin with. Just grab it. Pretty sure there, there was one the other way. way. Uh, I don't see any creatures. Walking. Let's go on to the next area. Just a little bit of a walk. Which is nice because there's no enemies along this entire stretch. Also, a really nice, nice, beautiful city. city. However, this does allow us to get the very last item on the list because currently figs are not implemented in the game. And it's the easiest one ever because it's that tree right over there. Probably should have fast glided there. Which? Oh, come on. Don't do this to me. There's supposed to be a Paya that spawns here. There you go. And. Well, sub 40. And like the rules will state, if I just go over here, away from this enemy, I now have all the fruit and vegetables that you can get common mushroom, carrot, dragon fruit, durian, apple. Sancho. Oh no. <laughs> Let me. Oh no. Uh... So, appears when I want to go grab the basil, I do not collect the basil. So. 
I am going all the way back to Fractured to grab that basil. But my time wanna stop there. I'm just gonna add on the time that's currently running now. That is very bad. Well, I would have had a sub 40. However, I didn't collect the basil. I could just redo this run, but I am just going to give myself a handicap and add five minutes plus yep there's my basil and time so i'm gonna add five minutes plus that one minute and 12 timer because i forgot to collect basil there's basil so it's supposed to go common mushroom basil carrot dragon fruit durian apple Cilantro, orange, papaya, peach, pineapple, rare mushroom, lemon, rosemary, and you can end on pomegranate. Currently, fig is implemented into the game, but when you try to grab it, it turns to dust. So I am not going to add that with the speedrun. But now we also have base. That really sucks, because now it's no longer a sub-40. Anyways. So let's just show you when you want to reset this run, because you made a mistake like I did. So, in this same spot, when you fast travel, all you have to do is go to your inventory, drag one of them, click to hide this button. Except, and you can get rid of every single fruit and vegetable. So, notice stamina still at 10, still using the normal. Start armor. You are allowed to use chests as you go on, but it just takes more time to open up the chest and then collect the resources that are in there. And getting gear like armor and weapons, it's a lower percentage to actually get those besides the materials. So, yeah, so still, this is what I started with. And if I was to redo this run, I would start the timer assignment. I've moved from here. Yeah, quest items. For some reason I have essence seeds, which I'm not sure about where I got that. And in cosmetics, you can have on or off. It doesn't really matter. It just looks kind of cool. But until character deletion gets added, this is what I start with. My godstones is just that, which does for all well, notes eight second cooldown for my dashes and everything else can get unlocked later if you do this multiple times the fruit and vegetables do add to the xp value so you get to maybe level two or three over collecting tons of different ones you can also go into here and see how many you've gathered so for this run, since it's my first time, I've gathered one of these, this is two, this is two, stuff. So Basil, it does say it's plus five stamina, but it's plus five stamina for one second, and it's currently just kind of broken. If you do do this multiple times, collecting one of these will give you double the amount. However, when it comes to 
you know, speed running this, you, you're still collecting just one of them and moving on. So it doesn't really matter. As long as you delete them from your page, show both two and three, and everything's done. So currently the time is 121.16. Uh, I'm going to add on five minutes to the other time that I started with when I grabbed the pomegranate because of issues. But I did stop it as soon as I put the pomegranate in my inventory and then show that case I guess since I accidentally reset my timer to replay it uh, I can continue the time for to be able to get basal but if you are opening up your inventory to show all this this doesn't count for time you can just do all of this before you actually start the speed run and then as soon as you stop time open up your inventory and show that you have ever fruit and vegetable but yeah for the most part that is the one of every fruit and vegetable speed run for Zenith, and I hope to rerun this again so it's a lot better and probably a lot more efficient. Anyways, thank you guys for watching.